I have here a atomic transaction and basically when this transaction is done I for example want to get some other function that will for example print that the transaction is uh, finished so in order to do that uh, we have this transaction on commit method and here we would pass the function so let's create for example this function and let's pass it here so right now if we So right now, if I call this create student function, uh, which is basically one big atomic transaction, uh, after the transaction is made, we actually uh, call this finished function. And we can actually, let's for example, uh, create some error here. So if we have an error in the middle of transaction, uh, we get a trace back and we, got, we don't uh, actually uh, get the result of this uh, function because the transaction uh, was not actually performed. Uh, you can also have, for example, atomic transaction inside the other atomic transaction. For example like this and you could create the second finished function and save it like this so Okay, it's actually, I forgot to make it different. But as you can see, now we basically have uh, two confirmations that uh, this was done and uh, this transaction was done too and that can be kind of a safe point for example we uh, if you if we want to save this guy anyway and for example if something happen happens here then we uh, want to save this anyway and say that the transaction has finished so in order to do that we can we can catch uh, this second transaction uh, errors and then for example so right now we can see that uh, we actually went for the first transaction and this was uh, uh, this error here was actually code and uh, this transaction wasn't actually finished so this is all i wanted to show you about on commit method and about save points there are more things to, to learn about database transactions but they are really kind of low level and uh, you will not need them at your work so you will need them only if you, uh, for example, want to create your own um, 
transaction uh, management system. Uh, so in this case, you can actually go to this page, database transactions, and for example, you can check this low level APIs that you might need. But uh, as I said, you will need them only if you actually uh, going to go really low and uh, going to make some kind of your own transaction management system.